Donald Trump makes sure Umbrella protects his famous locks but Melania and Barron are left to fend for themselves as first family leave the Blood Street March a Lago. President Donald Trump along with wife Melania and son Barron boarded Air Force One amid rainy Florida weather on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Photos show President 45 holding the large black umbrella close to his head, perhaps in an effort to keep his famous hair from being pelted by raindrops. But wife Melania, 47, and Barron, 11, are left to the mercy of the elements as they board the plane at Palm Beach International Airport in West Palm Beach. It is not clear whether Trump, 71, at any point offered space under his large umbrella to his wife or son. One photo even shows the ever-careful Trump closing his umbrella from inside the plane, ensuring that at no point he would be struck by the wet pellets. The first family is traveling back to Washington, D.C. after a long holiday weekend spent at March a Lago. Meanwhile, protesters lined up near the resort to protest against Trump. The most recent reason for protest is Trump's disparaging comments about Haiti and African nations. The Trump administration has both denied his comments and has claimed that they were misrepresented. Multiple politicians present at the meeting have said he made the comments. In a closed-door meeting about immigration, he allegedly said, Why are we having all these people from s asterisk 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 whole countries come here? One protester held up a sign showing Trump side by side with dictators Benito Mussolini, Adolf Hitler and Joseph Stalin. Another held a sign that read, Stop your racism, Trump. Haitians contributed to the freedom of the U.S. One little known fact about the American Revolution, also known as the War for American Independence, is that Haitian soldiers contributed to the U.S. Colonists struggled against Britain. Multiple Haitian Americans and Haitians came to West Palm Beach to protest in an effort to demand an apology from Trump for his comments. On Monday, Trump tweeted out a videotaped statement hailing Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream of racial harmony, just hours after declaring himself not a racist in response to his reported comments. Dr. King's dream is our dream. It is the American dream. It's the promise stitched into the fabric of our nation, etched into the hearts of our people, and written into the soul of humankind, Trump said in the statement. His pre-recorded statements were interspersed with clips from the historic 1963 March on Washington and King's I Have a Dream speech. It is the dream of the world where people are judged by who they are, not how they look or where they come from, Trump said in a plain spoken paraphrase of King's lofty rhetoric. Trump said King's words have inspired Americans of all backgrounds since they were spoken on that historic day. Drive. King's dream is our dream. It is the American dream. It's the promise stitched into the fabric of our nation, etched into the hearts of our people, and written into the soul of humankind, he said. It is the dream of the world where people are judged by who they are, not how they look or where they come from, said Trump. It is the dream of a nation that offers life and dignity and hope to every American, regardless of color or creed, Trump said. Just hours earlier, Trump defended the content of his own character, when he told reporters at March a Lago. No, no, I'm not a racist. He added, I am the least racist person you have ever interviewed, that I can't tell you. Trump was asked the question after the Washington Post reported he railed against immigration from s asterisk 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 whole countries, something the president and his allies later denied. Trump's statements about universal dignity came after continued fallout from the Oval Office meeting Thursday where he reportedly lashed out at immigration from countries such as Haiti and El Salvador. While there is a dispute over the language he used, the White House has not denied the substance of the president's position, that he favored immigration from countries like Norway and from Asia, but not from the other countries. Trump began the Monday holiday with a trip to his Trump International Golf Club just after 9 a.m.